How do you review again? So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So what I have here today is this Tesla Model Y. I've actually did a Model 3 review, the pre-facelift model, mind you. Review of that coming soon. I decided to uh, post this Model Y first because I'm actually preparing for something. Fingers crossed though. So I'd like to thank everyone here at Ecomax Philippines here at Ortigas Avenue. This is a brand new showroom for all the Tesla vehicles here in the Philippines. So what do we have here with this Model Y? And as you can see from the background compared with the Model 3, this Model Y is basically an SUV version of the Model 3 but there's a lot more changes than usual. Here on the side profile, you can see a lot more cladding and especially at the rear since it's again a bit more taller now than the Model 3. And unlike the Model 3 now, Tesla uses the Gigapress method. So basically, this Model Y consists only of two massive parts compared to the 70 parts in total of the Model 3. That's to save time in the production line and as well cost cutting measures too. And I can see the build quality compared with the Model 3. They're mostly the same too. And wherever they're made around the world, the quality of all the Teslas are very very good. That's what I commend to. So back with the looks of this Model Y. Here up front, it's basically the same like with the uh, Model 3. The ground clearance is just a little bit taller than usual, like 150 or 160 millimeters or so. A lot more cladding here than usual, but I don't mind it. Unlike some other vehicles out there that's been raised up to be an SUV. You have LED lights all around and as well being a Tesla, there's little cameras all around this vehicle. You have here on the side, this actually act as your repeaters too. And then one here too in the B pillar. And what I like too with all Teslas, you have reverse Aston Martin style door handles. And you get frameless windows too. And with double glazing, that's to minimize all the sound going into the cabin. And again, since this is basically like a Model 3, I will still show you this though. Which is my favorite feature of all Teslas. So powering this is nothing, <laughs> just kidding. Since all the batteries are stored underneath this vehicle, everything is clear here up front. So you have a front boot, you have a total here of 170 liters, which is pretty decent. I mean, you can fit, what, Christmas gifts here? What, like around three or four, what, presents here over here? That's pretty perfect. And I like, I haven't demoed this two in the Model 3. You have a tow hitch over here. And you have the nice Tesla logo as well on it. So all Model Ys here in the Philippines too are running on 19-inch wheels. You can spec on what kind of wheels you want here at least. And being this uh, Model Y now, I mean, comparing to the Model 3, the rear here looks more bulbous than usual. But for me, that's no bad thing at all. So this uh, Model Y looks like more of a coupe-ish SUV. You know what I'm talking about because there's a very nice uh, sloping roof here up above. More on the moonroof too. Later on, you get LED taillights too and repeaters. And there's some Model Y vehicles here like this blue and red one that have Chinese inscription. I think it's an option too that you can have it or not have it on this vehicle. No exhaust tailpipe for obvious reasons too. And party piece too with this Model Y comparing only with the uh, Model 3. Now being a crossover SUV, you have a lot more space now than usual, including to the underfloor storage, you have a total space here of 854 liters, which is pretty decent in this, well, in the coupe SUV, each class of vehicles. Cubby spaces on either side too. There are two buttons here on the left side, which can fold down the rear seats. I find that pretty handy. And the total space now with all of the seats now is 2,158 liters. Being the model by standard range, Right, these are your charging ports here on the left side. So, buying this Model Y is a 60 kilowatt hour battery that produces 299 horsepower and 440 newton meters of torque. Again, buying the rear wheels and charging times of this, pretty simple. For your slow charger, 0 to 100% in under 10 hours. And for a fast charger, 0 to 100% takes at least an hour, which is still pretty quick. And what I like here with this, uh, port here on the left side. You can just literally push off a button, but I have no idea how to close it though But at least you can close it here in the uh, infotainment system 
That's about it with the exterior and the boot of this and the electric motor too of this Model Y. Let's check out the interior once again. So this is the interior of the Tesla Model Y. So here in the door card, well, and everything else here in the interior looks exactly the same like with the Model 3. However, though, some bits here in the infotainment system like the graphics of the car, of course, it mimics now that of the Model Y. But still, uh, very refreshing to sit in one of these even though it's exactly the same like with the Model 3 because it's, it's a Tesla, of course. So here in the door card, you get a lot of leather and felt materials, barely hints of plastic just below here itself where it houses your cubby space and your bottle holders. And what I like too, in the in that part, everything is felt material. So Tesla do know what they're doing with in terms of quality. I mean, they didn't leave anything uh, untouched. Well, the design here in the interior, of course, is very minimalistic, but everything works. I was expecting this to be a bit more difficult because all of you, the controls here are in the infotainment system but having done the walk around review in the model 3 i got used to uh, sitting here in the model y pretty easily yes there's some parts i gotta be honest are still confusing for me to this day but i found them much more easier now since uh this wasn't my first time anymore in a tesla and like with the model 3 too you don't have any door handles whatsoever they're similar like with uh corvettes just a push of a button and they're open and like what i said too in the exterior double glazing windows that means you're isolated here in the cabin i barely hear any what uh stuff going into the cabin like very loud motorcycles here and there very quiet in here why well, you got to test out to the end which since uh ecomax is located here in ortigas avenue it's a very it's a very busy uh place over here and yeah good nvh overall i can vouch for that already so back here in the interior uh since everything now is in this very large infotainment screen well a tablet i must say the visibility all around is actually really good i mean you have a very large windscreen to the b pillars all the way far back so you won't have any issues with blind spots but there's cameras anyways you all know me i'll be old school i will still be doing that unlike now too with the model 3 the side mirrors are just a little bit more weak than usual but i don't mind it since again the wind the mirrors are kind of like uh times two zoom anyways but i'm just a bit biased than that of the longer ones of the model 3 so that's the only key differences i've seen so far here in the interior there's a lot more of them in the rear but i'll show you that later steering wheel exactly the same very few buttons here for your volume for the infotainment system this actually on the right side is for your distance for the autopilot adaptive cruise control i think if not mistaken still same case this will read the lines if only uh like you're in the highway like nx and sx but it will have a hard time here like in the city on slower speeds because it won't read the lines properly if the line, lane markings are a little bit faded out now so watch out for uh future tesla owners what i like to around in the steering wheel yes this one's kept to a minimum but at least you still have your important functions like for the scrolling toggle switches over here and the left stock access indicator and a wiper function and on the right side you have your shifter controls and to some bits here for the uh, cruise control if not mistaken from the as i said in the upcoming model 3 walk around review and on top of the dashboard everything squeegee material i really love this wooden material since it gives it a more eco-friendly vibe you see that very big gap over there in the top of the dashboard that actually houses for your air conditioning vents and you can adjust them all here in the infotainment system yet again it was annoying at first but having got used already in the model 3 i found this really easy everything here is so responsive i really really love this and here's for your navigation there's the maps aren't loaded yet since this is a brand new unit but it's one of the most responsive systems i've ever tried out you have your toy box function over here and like with every review it is tradition yeah interesting though there's a light show function of this of course i'm looking at the model x the doors as well play along during the light show i wonder what this does if you do the light show 
tell them what that uh, soon too and I love this the romance when you get cozy you have a fireplace here in the infotainment system that's what I like too since this infotainment is really really huge it feels a little bit more realistic than usual and then if you play Santa mode sometimes it will play speakers uh, outside the vehicle so yeah just to play along too and then back here in your customization modes you have heating functions too on the steering wheel and for the seats there's no ventilation sadly for any of them but I don't mind it this as well is equipped with an onboard dash cab you have your energy consumption too so we have 45% of battery and I will demo this all soon hopefully when I get to dive one of these then as I, I showed you earlier the toy box and then you can play games over here I, I really love this feature what? and I demoed that too in my model 3 walk around review What the freak? Your 360D camera, again, this is one of the clearest resolutions I've ever seen in any vehicle. And then here for your vehicle settings, there's a lot. One disadvantage though, everything, like what I said, with modern uh, cars with a lot of screens, everything's controlled over here. But again, I got used to it pretty quickly already. Like even for your telescopic function, you have to do it here in the infotainment system. But it's very responsive, I and mean, look at that. Yeah, the forwards and backwards is a little bit slow, but the up and down feature is pretty quick. Then you have more here for your... Good speakers too. Not sure what brand these are, but very good nevertheless. Then here for your pedals and steering, these are your driving modes too. You have your charging, your autopilot, and a lot more bits over here. And two, you have software updates if needed for the model, which is pretty cool. So that's done. We're done here in the infotainment system since that's the main talking point of this car. Generally, overall here in the interior, I freaking love this. You get leather seats too. It's really soft. Above here, you have two LED lights, your hazard button. And then visor, you have a magnetized cover for the mirror along too with two LED lights. And B, excuse me. So you have electronic adjustments for both front seats but only the driver has the lumbar adjustments sadly and then here being a tesla very good they all extend even here for the uh right front passenger seat and the seats again very soft the cushions yeah very supported this i think the best seats i've ever sat in i mean it's got everything it's soft it's comfortable and a lot of bolstering sporty sporty <laughs> anyways oh yeah two glove box even this you have to open it here in the infotainment system oh what is this 128 gigabyte flash drive wow with this with the tesla logo that's expensive in itself so put you back and then below the infotainment system you have two pads here for your phones and they're as well capable of wireless charging and then further behind you have a very massive cubby space over here along to an LED light inside I was wondering you have the cubby spaces here but where are your USB ports they're actually here inside of the cubby space that's well USB-C type ports and then way further behind you have two cup holders and then here center console box it's as well wrapped in leather the space is okay pretty decent there's as well an LED light right inside so yeah, that's about here in front of this Tesla Model Y. Let's go to the rear seats. So these are the rear seats of the Tesla Model Y. Here in the darker, you have again the squeegee material, Alcantara, leather, and then plastic here down below. Along too with your speakers. Leave you open, I want the aircon. <laughs> and kidding aside. So up above here, you have your LED lights and your coat hanger and space here comparing with the model t i think feels just as spacious to feet room and body room yeah you can extend your head all the way forward my headroom now though is a little bit better than the model t even though we have the very massive uh, panoramic moonroof that stretches even all the way here it feels so special to sit here in the rear in well in the model t and this model y because of this moonroof two map pockets on either side and in the middle you have two air conditioning vents along two with two USB-C ports and the seats here again are all leather very soft to sit in of course very comfortable 
and then here in the middle you have a central armrest with two cup holders with grips around them i remember my big water jug was able to fit here in the armrest and if i sit here in the middle advantage too of being an electric car too there's no transmission panel whatsoever and shifting here in the middle like my case with the model 2 it's a little bit more softer than either left right side of the seats because the cushion here is way way softer but again everywhere here in the rear very comfortable to sit in so if you want to know more about this tesla model i suggest you go here at ecomax here in ortigas avenue because again these are the most teslas i've seen in one showroom and as well and there are three available models for this model why let's put it at variance there are three variants so you have this standard range which is the plentiest they're all present here in the showroom there is a long range version and a performance version and two if you're interested in other models like the model s the model x and more model 3 models there are available for indent order and if you want the ever crazy plaid model they will be available too for indent order here at ecomax philippines so yeah that concludes to my walk around review of this tesla model y so i'd like to thank everyone here again at ecomax philippines to miss dial and to sir mark for making this all possible so hope you guys like and subscribe and i will see you with more tesla reviews coming right up and hopefully I'll be driving one very, very soon. And I'm actually very, very excited to try this out. And I've always, always wanted to drive this very specific Tesla model. Bye-bye.